everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 323. I'm Nate Moore. Been helping a group look at their no-shows again. We're looking at no-shows as a percentage of total appointments by day of the week and time of day and location and provider. Are my Medicaid patients more likely to no-show than my Medicare patients and by how much? All that kind of analysis helps this clinic really plan for and reduce their no-shows. When you're ready to do something similar in your practice, I'd love to help you. We're back in the pivot table from the options menu options we're to the display tab today and there, there are several things in here some of them only apply to certain types of pivot tables connected to OLAP cubes and we're not going there so a lot of those uh, grayed out options I'm not going to worry about and some of these others that are checked are pretty basic and default and I just leave what I want to show you is two things today one I used to use a lot of and one that I still think is helpful if you're converting from Excel 2003 to 2007 or 10 and you like the old pivot table format let me show you what classic pivot table layout does I've moved away from it but when I first converted I used it a bunch in the old days before we had the pivot table field list pivot tables used to look like this in fact we're gonna hide the field list for a minute just to sh show you see how they're the 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 settings look a little bit different and if I bring it back if you have multiple fields here then things looked a little bit different you, you didn't have all the design options you do in 2007 and 2010 but the advantage was when you wanted to move from cutoff month to doctor and you were used to being able to do this you can switch them this way without having to switch them this way which was when I was used to it when I it, well, let me say it this way. Now that I'm used to it, I prefer the pivot table field list. But if you're just converting over and you like to be able to drag things down or drag things up, you can do a lot of that kind of stuff and it will calculate for you. And then the challenge is, is that when you try to move things that are multiple levels in and you say, all right, this, this, no, I want it over here. And you kind of had to wait and get it exactly the right place. And no, I kind of want this over. No, no, I didn't want that one. I want I kind of want there we go and it's a little bit tricky to see where the arrows are and where you're dragging for me now that I'm used to it I prefer just moving stuff in and out this way and say no now I want this now I want that now I want this and just move my pivot table around that way for me it's simpler but when I first changed over I appreciated being able to do classic pivot table layout if it helps you great if you're used to this I'd stay used to the pivot table field list and be done if you're converting this may be a very handy thing to turn on for you the other thing that I use uh, in the pivot table options display menu is notice my pivot table field list for a minute the order is date build write off aloud and if you look at my data source it's date build write off aloud if you have a pretty good long data source and I have you know, a fair amount of fields here sometimes it can be helpful to instead of sort them in the order that they came across in the data particularly if you don't have any control of what your, the way your data comes across if it's just dumped to you what you may want to do instead is come over to pivot table and options and from display if you sort A to Z instead of data source order data source is the way that it came to you the way that it is on this reimbursement tab we're gonna go A to Z instead and now I've got percentage and then allowed build CP2 code cutoff month that may make it easier for you to find things in the list rather than trying to remember the order that they are in in your data source you can do it either way and if you want to change it it's just options options and the display tab those are the two things I want to show you about the display tab and options today the classic pivot table layout and sorting the field list stay tuned next time we'll talk about some of the other things that are left in these menus thanks for watching